welcome to OVW Overdrive, the show that always kicks out at two. I'm your host, Brian Kinnison, with me as always, Dan Stevie J. Casanova of the Thanksgiving table, Stephen Johnson. Of the Thanksgiving table? That's okay. I can get with that. Even though usually it's your family that's at the Thanksgiving table, so you don't want to be the Casanova of... Didn't think that. that one through. Anyway, hey folks, speaking of Thanksgiving, this is the Not Overdrive that. Thanksgiving special because we're, we're so thankful for everything we've had this year. We're almost to 50 episodes of OVW Overdrive, which is fantastic. We're thankful that we've survived this long. We're thankful to you guys for tuning in. Thank you very much. We've got a great episode as a way of saying thanks this holiday, um, starting with a great singles match. That's right, folks. But before we get into that, let's remind you about a couple things. We are on the road to Christmas Chaos, December 5th, OVW's first ever online-only event. Headlined by Tony Gunn, defending his OVW Heavyweight Championship against Brian Pillman Jr. inside of a cage. Go to OVWrestling.com and get your virtual ticket now. But we're making a bunch of delicious food here today. Yeah, well, we kind of delicious. I did just put my face in the bowl. Well, that's disgusting. We've invited the entire OVW roster and staff to be here with us for Friendsgiving, so we're really excited. So nice. we're going to get to cooking. We're going to go ahead and get into the first match. we got Delicious Van Vicious facing off against Reverend Robbie Roberts. Let's check it out. Amen. Oh, you got to you gotta stir. Oh, well, now no, you got facial hair in there. Maybe just start over. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, Delicious Van Vicious. Welcome to the Davis Arena alongside AJ McKay. I'm Eric Cornish and he's here, the delicious one, Van Vicious. Man, what a total package here. The briefcase, the gold chains. Hashtag Mr. Miami, hashtag your girlfriend's favorite wrestler. That's <laughs> Mr. Van Vicious. Delicious Van Vicious. I always told myself growing up I'd never call another dude delicious, but here we are, you well, see. Well, you know what? Sometimes you got you to do what you got to do. I guess, he, you know. And his opponent, Reverend Ronnie Roberts. You got to look at him. You got to look at me. You know, I'm not going to argue with the guy if that's what he wants to be called. <laughs> it's time to get holy up in here. Amen, amen. You know what? Uh, Van Vicious over here just put all that gold into the Halliburton briefcase. But you know, Reverend Ronnie's always got that building fun. He'd like to take home a little gold today. He's got the good book with him. I don't see the collection plate with him today. Oh, it's never far behind, I guarantee it. I saw him earlier today, though. He had a snack plate, so I guess that's collection plate, snack plate. It kind of works out, I guess. You got to have the carry-ins. <laughs> you got to have, have the carry-ins. <laughs> Such an interesting dynamic not to have fans in the Davis Arena with us, but unfortunately due to the COVID situation, you know, things have kind of had to be tightened up a little bit, but... Hey, the show goes the on. The action goes on. And speaking of, here we go. Making his debut here on Overdrive, Delicious Van Vicious, and the Reverend Ronnie Roberts picked up a big win last week. We'll see if he can pull out another one. Of course, you know, he may have used ooh, nah, some tactics that, uh, that the congregation might not approve of. Little sneaky, little sneaky. Nice reversal, so back and forth though. Ronnie with a nice go behind. Has his snap mare over now. Oh, he's trying, trying to do a little prayer. <laughs> Delicious Van <laughs> Vicious says, yeah, no, 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 no prayers. No, nah, he's not a part of that prayer group, I don't think. Reverend Ronnie oh. takes him down to the mat now. I don't know how delicious that mat tasted, but he just tasted it. <laughs> hey, Reverend Ronnie said, hey, we're, we're trying to pray. Let's, let's do this. Whips him into the ropes. Oh, look at that. Misses with the high cross body there. Reverend Ronnie now into the ropes. What's he got? A big knee. Wow. Good Lord. <laughs> Reverend Ronnie uh, puts the knee in. You know what? He's, he's all about, he's, he's a little showy. He's a little showy, but it's effective. You got to be a little showy, you know, and nothing wrong with being a little showy. You can wow. Oh, man, Sends, to the uh, outside. Vicious to the outside there. What's he going to do out here on the floor now? You can already tell that the, uh, the all the showboating has kind of thrown uh, oh, oh, Vicious off his man. game here. Good night. <laughs> he says there's a power <laughs> of the Lord, yeah. <laughs> Sends him back into the ring now. Oh, what a big <laughs> chop. <laughs> I wonder, delicious. I think the Lord even felt that one. Oh, now you want to pray. <laughs> no, not having any of it. <laughs> Reverend Ronnie says, now you want to now you want to say a prayer. Big rake to the eyes there. 
comes in. Look at that. Takes Reverend Ronnie down to a the mat. A sling blade there by uh, Mr. Miami. Big oh. elbow drop now down to Reverend Ronnie. In for the cover. I think uh, I think Mr. Van Vicious here is a little tired of the showboating of the Reverend. Has him up now. Look at this. Oh, oh look at that. Round and round he goes and right down to the mat. Knocks the wind right out of Reverend Ronnie now. He's got to stay on top of him, though, giving him too much time to catch his breath. Big clubbing blow to the back. Another one. Wow, those things, so, man, they sound loud. So Van Vicious calls himself your girlfriend's favorite wrestler. Is that true? Well, if I had a girlfriend, girlfriend, I, I guess I'd... <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I, sorry, I hit a nerve. Team, I hit a nerve. Team single over here. I Thanks hit. for that, EC. Look at here now. <laughs> Two. Rolls him up. Two count. Almost had him there. Yeah, thanks for hitting that holiday nerve. Appreciate you on that one. Well, I'll, I'll pray for you next yeah, holiday dinner please, with Reverend Ronnie. Look at this big oh. DDT. Good oh. night. He's got, he's got to capitalize here. He's got to get on top. Covers him. One. Oh, two, is, just a two count. Reverend Ronnie kicks out again. Well, cocky cover there. He didn't He didn't hook the leg. He just put the two hands on him. That's the inexperience showing here by uh, Delicious Van Vicious. Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna get one over on Reverend Ronnie without covering that leg, man. Uh, here we go. Back to the center of the ring. Oh, oh and he blocks the chop. Oh, but Reverend Ronnie <laughs> catches got him. him. <laughs> There's more than one way to chop a delicious man. Snapmare takes him over into the ropes. No! Big clothesline. Look out, referee. Here he goes. A man with Boom. the leg drop. That's got to be it there. He's got to cover him. Nope. Delicious Van Vicious back to his feet now. Reverend Ronnie comes running across. Boom, and a big splash into the corner. Backs it up. Do it again. Oh, gets him again. Oh, yeah. Can't take him off his feet, though. Scoops uh, this will do it. Got him up. What's he going to do with him? Down to the mat he goes. Doesn't go for the pin. Uh-oh, he's, he's going to climb to heaven. Here he goes. Up to the top goes Reverend Ronnie. All the way from the heavens, beating down on Delicious Van Vicious. Oh, there's the hand of God. Uh-oh. I think it's that time, EC. He says, I am the light, I am the way. And I think that... Uh, He's going to try to turn out the lights here of Delicious Van Vicious. I think Delicious Van Vicious is going to see uh -oh. curtains here. I think you saw it coming, little reversal. Into the corner. Oh, and a big kick to Reverend Ronnie. Oh, and a knee right to the face. Oh, what a big oh, stop, stop. Down. This could be it here. And Mr. Miami. Oh! oh the splash. One, two. two. Oh. oh, my word. I thought he had him. Your winner. No. Nope. No, it's not. Just a two count. Nope. Even Stephanie was thrown off by yeah. that. Hey. Even our ring announcer Stephanie thought it was over, but man, that was close. Has him up now. Oh, look at this. Big backbreaker. Reverend Ronnie's out of it though, big oh. forearm. What a clubbing blow to the back of the neck to Delicious Van minute, Vicious. Here he is, I told you he was going. He was going for that briefcase over there, looking for something to put in the collection plate. Now wait, wait a, minute. a minute, that's not the collection Reverend plate. Reverend Ronnie's. Wait a minute. Into the tights. Ref got it, whatever it was. Look at this. There's the briefcase. Uh -oh. Uh oh, oh, wait a minute now. Oh no. Oh, referee. Referee thinks, no, he's, that's it. Wait a minute, he's saying delicious Van Vicious hit Reverend Ronnie with a briefcase, but he, but it. Your winner by disqualification. The old switcheroo. Reverend Ronnie Roberts. Wow. Oh. The old switcheroo, Reverend Ronnie pulls a fast one oh, over on delicious this. Van Vicious. Reverend Ronnie with a little wink. What? <laughs> Angrier, oh. but also do I.
buy at OVWWrestlingNetwork.com. It's only $4.99 a month. In between excitement, me too! OVWWrestlingNetwork.com is only $4.99 a month. You get that incredible value. She cost me $17 million and I loved it. Want a real value? OVWWrestlingNetwork.com. It's only $4.99. That's a price so low. Well, it's insane. Ah! I didn't know some Medicare Advantage plans may pay for dental visits. Did you? I didn't know some Medicare Advantage plans may pay for transportation to my doctor. Did you? I didn't know some Medicare Advantage plans may pay to have my prescriptions delivered directly to my home. Did you? These and more are important benefits some Medicare Advantage plans may give you. So if you're eligible for Medicare, call us right now because you could enroll in a plan with some amazing additional benefits. Call now. Folks, welcome back to OVW Overdrive, the Thanksgiving special. Uh, we're still waiting for yeah. first guests to arrive here to our Friendsgiving. Any minute now. Come on, guys. I can smell the turkey on your face. You're supposed to put your face in the and oven. The beard you know. absorbs any and all smells. Speaking and of juices. smells and juices. Okay, so I know we didn't discuss this beforehand, but I didn't feel like we really needed to. What's the word? It's got a button on your lack of shirt. My house, my rules. Welcome to Casa de Johnson, ladies and gentlemen, the, the house of the stars. Give thanks again for me uh, allowing you into my home. You're welcome. Thanksgiving. I would be very thankful if you could wear a shirt. I'll put one on when the food uh, is on the table. In the meantime, I, it's part of the, not the special seasoning, but you get what I'm saying. I don't want to know about Steve's shirtless seasoning. But anyway, let's get straight into this last week's OVW television. Well, so much action, so much excitement, so much food, but we'll get into that a little bit later. That's right, this past Tuesday was the OVW Thanksgiving special. We had food for the entire staff and roster there, ready for a big uh, camaraderie sort of event. Right. The OVW family wanted to take this opportunity to all get together and, and break bread together. Uh, you know, those that can actually stand one another, but there were a whole gang of, of ladies that weren't able to stand one another, but with the number one contendership for the OVW Women's Championship on the line, I can understand why they wouldn't. That's right, that, that's right. We were set up to break bread, but these ladies were ready to break heads. We had an eight-woman <laughs> elimination <laughs> tag team match, like and it. the woman that gets the deciding pinfall or submission would be the, OVW, the number one contender to the OVW Women's Champion, Maserati. So why don't we go and take a look about who is climbing the ladder in the OVW. Oh, and she's dropped! Oh, like I was saying, oh, hold on, let's see if she gets it here. That's it! Haley oh, Shadow has huh? been eliminated. Hey. Haley Shadow's killed with the cutter from Shauna Reed. Oh, Haley Fairfax right in there, not letting Shauna Reed breathe. But guys, like I was saying, we had eight very competitive women in this match, vying for the number one contendership. How, how great has OVW's women's division gotten lately? It's grown by leaps and bounds. Oh, it's unbelievable. The way that the OVW women's division has grown, you're right, we are down to five of the best in the division. Again, vying for that chance. Look out here. Oh, Sean, oh. looking for that fisherman suplex. Haley Fairfax, Harley Fairfax able to get out of it. Both ladies look a little more worse for wear, a little exhausted, and getting a little bit later in this match. It's gonna come down to endurance, I think, guys. Well, from pure brutality standpoint, Harley Fairfax is a step above the rest. Harley Fairfax just about had it there. Oh, and oh my gosh! Better. I think another one's about Sean to Reed's bite the dust right here. If she could just find her wits to make the cover. She's got to get that pin. Sean Reed goes for it, guys. She got That's her. it. Oh. Harley Fairfax that captain has, has been, been eliminated. eliminated. Harley Fairfax gone. Hollywood Haley J in there by herself now, guys. We are one step closer to find who her number one contender is. And well, oh. she, she's incredibly tenacious, but you got to think the odds are not in her favor at all. Three on one does not spell a win for Hollywood, though uh, crazier things have happened. I mean, Steve, it's not just Hollywood by herself. I mean, she does have Dylan McQueen here. Reset. Oh, what is? Come on. Hey, Joe well, Reed's got spray in the face. It's almost on cue. Oh. Haley J capitalizing here on Joe oh. Reed. spray in the face. Oh, my God. It turns her inside out with that super kick and. Oh, oh there it is. Shana Reed down, two to go. has Shana, been eliminated. Shana Reed, very impressive, guys. I thought she was going to go all the way and get that number one contendership. But thanks to Dylan McQueen, Haley J eliminates her. Right. Well, she's celebrating like the match is over, but she doesn't realize that she's still got two other competitors. Not only that, she's got double A, Ari Alexander, and, and the captain, Jocelyn Navarro. I picked Team Fairfax, just, just to be clear Ooh. here. So, Hollywood. She still she yep. still has a chance here. You, I can still be right. You're still in the running. Oh, oh big oh, got huge suplex, suplex there. Now I know you're 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 friends with the guy from Hollywood, Shannon. Oh, Does he? Course. I mean, maybe you guys link up with this lady from Hollywood. Of course. Oh, oh God. Flatter than a pancake. 
Jocelyn Navarro. Two, three. There it is. There it is, guys. Hollywood Haley J has been eliminated. Your winners, Ari Alexander and Jocelyn Navarro. Jocelyn Navarro, your number one contender. You see there pushing Ari Alexander out of the way, saying, this is my time, I won the match. Like we explained, the deciding fall, whoever picks up that fall would be the OVW Women's Champion. So there you have it. We have a new number one contender for the OVW Women's Championship. It is Jocelyn Navarro. Very, very impressive win. Beating seven other women, now three of which were on her team, but still. Well, technically. Still. Yeah. Coming out on top on seven other women. Jocelyn Navarro, your new number one contender for the OVW Women's Championship. Look out, Maserati. Christmas chaos cannot come soon enough, but there was more action. Best friends collided, not unlike you and I, buddy. Not unlike you and I. Uh, I look a lot like Dustin Jackson. We can say that you look a lot like Drew Hernandez. They went at it hard and fast and quick. Not the longest match in the world, but by God, was it intense. Check it out. I don't like being that close to your nipple. We can see him. We can see it right now. We don't have the big audience that we normally have here at Davis Arena. Do the... Oh, oh huge! Oh, my gosh. Whoa! Not very friendly there. Oh, my gosh. Drew Hernandez obviously has a lie of stake in this match. He, he, has, he obviously cares a lot about this. We haven't seen the Maya Mahler for a bit. He comes out immediately like a, a, a house of fire. And just imagine if he gets a win over Dustin Jackson. Oh, oh, huge toss to the outside by Dustin. But yeah, could you imagine if Drew Hernandez is able to pick up the win against one of the top, if not the top. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Well, it looks like Dustin Jackson has no intentions of letting Maya Mahler pick up an easy victory here. But Steve, again, to your credit, we've been trying to get it out, but just, they just guys just keep going from the get-go. Yes, Drew Hernandez, it would be huge for him to pick up the win over Dustin Jackson, who he's easily number two, three contender to the OVW Heavyweight Championship even. Drew Hernandez, this would be huge for him coming back and getting that victory. Ooh. These guys are not acting like friends. This has just been going from the get-go, from the green light. No, the respect Ooh. is over as soon as the match started right there. I think Dustin Jackson, he just spelled bro under Hernandez's face. Ooh, Drew oh. Hernandez just spelled nearly a out of there. his boots. That That's gotta be it. Oh, I can't believe that wasn't it. Unbelievable, he knocked him three quarters of the way across the ring. That was intense, guys. That was impact personified. Oh my God, Dustin Jackson, he, he, he's running on fumes at this point. I mean, I mean, Drew's a big guy, Dustin, not a small guy himself, but the way that he sent him, and now he's getting up for a suplex. Oh. Oh. Dustin Jackson up and over, big drop kick. We saw the power there from, from Drew. Oh, and a couple of feet right in the face. Drew Hernandez. Oh, Dustin Jackson, big clothesline. Go for the Bulldog here. Oh, drops it right on the face. Drew Hernandez, Dustin, go for the pin. Is that going to be enough? Drew Hernandez holding on, guys, two and a half there. Dustin Jackson thought he had it. Again, uh, these guys know each other inside and out. The fact that they've been able to have all this offense without any counters up to this point is a credit to both of them scouting the other. Now I can tell you, it's gonna take a lot more than that to put down Drew Hernandez. Look at this, this guy is a fighter. <laughs> Huge scoops in every there. sense of the word. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, and just, he realigned Ooh. his spine and then opened his chest up. Oh! Look at that, guys, the power from Drew Hernandez. Oh, this is just two friends competing, two trying to decide oh. who's better, trying to decide who is the better competitor. But not only that, trying to impress OVW management. You have to imagine both these guys want a spot at Christmas Chaos on December 5th. Well, they want a shot at the championship is what they want. And um, again, a win for Drew Hernandez would put him right in line for that. Oh, Drew Hernandez got that three-point stance, but nobody home. Ooh. Big elbow to the face. Dustin Jackson knocked off his game for a second there. Oh, and then for another second. Big kick from Drew Hernandez. Maya Mahler in control of this match, guys. Dustin Jackson's going to have to pull oh, it together. What's he looking at the... No. I don't think Drew Hernandez knows what, what? he wants to do. Oh, maybe it's a bit of desperation. Maybe he's... Are we thinking high-risk maneuver here from Drew oh. Hernandez? Up on the second rope, taking a page out of Dustin Jackson's play. Oh, oh my oh, God! Oh my goodness! Nobody home. D Dustin Jackson out of the way, thankfully for Dustin Jackson. Dustin trying to get himself back into it, and now Drew Hernandez made a mistake. Oh! Dustin Jackson capitalized. Looked like Drew Hernandez was having a self-debate going on there and had a second opinion. Now that's what Turned happens to when be you're a facing, bad move. Yeah, you're facing your friend. You might second the second guess it, but you shouldn't, because Dustin Jackson's going to capitalize. Look out! Oh! There's a Derby City Frog Splash, guys. Is that going to be enough for Drew Hernandez? Where can Dustin even get there? Look, hurt himself on that one. There it is! 
awesome Here's match between winner, two great friends, Dustin but it was the pro. Jackson. Dustin Jackson picking up the win. It, uh, guys, a hell of a match. Fantastic match, guys. Justin Jackson pulls out another win, but not like Justin or Drew Hernandez didn't try. Great competitive match. Our number one priority in life is the protection of our loved ones and ourselves. We at Comprehensive Health and Wellness are here to help. During these challenging and uncertain times, Comprehensive Health and Wellness can supply you with the personal protection equipment you need for you and your loved ones to feel more secure. Go to chw.care or call 800-963-7066 to get yours today. That's chw.care or 800-963-7066. Have you ever had the dream of being a part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment? Take action and make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, Ohio Valley Wrestling, the birthplace of legends such as John Cena, Batista, Brock Lesnar, Cody Rhodes, The Miz, and many, many more. Will you be the next name to be added to that impressive list? Go to ASWA Live now for more information. Learn the right way. There it is. Dustin Jackson picks up the win over the Mayan Mall of Drew Hernandez. I mean, Drew brought the fight straight to Dustin oh Jackson. That got me amped up. Dustin, oh. Dustin's just a hard mouth. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Calm Sorry. down there, Nips. All right, Dustin Jackson is a hard mountain to climb right now. Head full of momentum after win, after win, after win. Singles division, tag team division. Dustin Jackson's all over the place. Drew Hernandez, don't feel too bad about that one. Now, after that, we had our main event, the Thanksgiving Throwdown 10-man elimination match. You had Brian Pillman Jr. and his team versus OVW heavyweight champion Tony Gunn and his team. What ended up being a hell of a match. Unbelievable action. Check it out. What was that? What's what? still in between? Come on! That was Pull only two, referee. guys. That was only two. That was three, but Dylan McQueen pulled referee Daniel Spencer out. Now referee, referee Daniel Spencer distracted on the outside. Any way you slice it, that was only a two count. Omar Amir, look at that look on his face. The sight set on Dylan McQueen. Dylan, where hightailing it. Go no, no get away from that food. Get away from that. Put that pie down. That's not yours, Dylan. I was gonna eat that. Don't touch that. Tony Gunn and Pillman spilled to the outside here by the ring, but Omar Amir got Dylan McQueen by the jacket. Look out! Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Let's just lower this guy in the face. He gives the best cream pies. What is? What is? Oh no, Hollywood! Now get Omar Amir's face. I wouldn't do that. Pretty good cream pies on her own. Look out! Look out, Hollywood! Don't turn it around. I don't think you're gonna like it. No. Oh, oh. Ariel. A Hollywood just pied in the face by Ari Alexander. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, where did Tom Coffey come from? What? Oh, oh my Dustin goodness. Jackson Dustin Jackson getting in the mix now. Unbelievable. What? Where did he come from? Clearly at the end of the table. He was enjoying this dinner before. Well, guys, we've all had a Thanksgiving that broke down into an absolute fist fight, and oh. I, here we are again having it at, at OVW's Thanksgiving. Drew Hernandez and that one taking it to Dustin Jackson. Drew Hernandez not taking that loss from earlier lightly. Oh, just throws a pie. We got a food fight. Oh, here's the thing, everybody. He's here to bless the food. Everybody's come. We just Thanksgiving. We should be celebrating and giving thanks. Everybody knows you're supposed to say your blessings first. Oh, God. I'll start the prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for blessing us with all this food, all this turkey, all this stuffing, all this pie. Now, can I get Treat a reverend? Well, that's no way to treat anybody. No, this is gonna break it down. Food flying everywhere. I was gonna eat that. Everyone just, uh, just, just food flying everywhere. We're gonna get roaches for sure. Come on, guys, have some decorum. AJZ and TJ Moss out here taking their own drum out here for everybody. Oh, it's all broken <laughs> loose out here. TJ just pushed AJZ into Cali. Omar is covered in I don't know. Is that a turkey? I think Hollywood's got an entire turkey. What is happening? Omar Amir slipping, but he's got Dylan McQueen. He's got Dylan McQueen by the jacket. Luscious Lord trying to get in there, guys. They can't even stand. There's arguably still a match going on here, too. Oh, Luscious Lord just slips down in, in, in the cream. This Luscious Lord's getting creamed, but oh no, what's, what's Omar Amir have in mind here, guys? Oh! 
Oh my oh, god! Through the table, Luscious Lawrence! Oh. I, I, I think Referee Luscious Daniel Spencer has disqualified both Omar Amir and Luscious Lawrence. They are eliminated. That happened just now? Wow. Come on, wow. Luscious that Lawrence was the breaking went, point? Luscious Lawrence just went through the Thanksgiving dinner table. That looks like what happened at my still, family's house last they're year. They're still fighting with the food. This guy saved some for us. This is a, a I think oh. Luscious Lawrence is going to be thankful for Ace and Medifin, guys. Oh, 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 gosh. Tony, Brian Tillman Jr. trying to get back in the ring. Tony Gunn there kicks the rope. Oh, oh. there it is. There's the Kill shot. But can, can Gunn get the fall here? And there it is. is it. Your winner, Shotgun Tony Gunn! Folks, Tony Gunn is the sole survivor here of this 10-man elimination match. I, guys, just madness here at ringside. We started out with a very competitive 10-man match, and it just broke down absolute madness. Food fights, someone went through a table, there were pies in the faces, but the headline, the final line of this is Tony Gunn, the sole survivor for his team, going into Christmas chaos on December 5th, head full of momentum. Well, despite the food fight and everything we saw here tonight, you see right now Tony Gunn standing victorious How over Brian Tillman Jr. And we very well may be seeing that at the Saturday night special in the cage. I was gonna say just that. Can you imagine if Tony Gunn holds that belt high over Brian Pillman in this position inside of a steel cage? I can't believe what we've seen here tonight. And I cannot wait to see what happens live on pay-per-view December 5th. Oh, oh, oh my what? Right inside the ring. Tony Gunn just laid out Brian Pillman Jr. With, with the title belt. Wow, okay, so Tony Gunn just, he just capitalized on the distraction. Brian Pillman Jr. was, was sure. down there. I'm gonna do a reenactment. Sure, okay, let's. Right. And then, uh, so, so I'm Brian Pillman Jr. Right, yeah, so okay. I'm gonna need you to. And then I, oh, I'm Shotgun Tony Gunn. Oh. Champion! I'm a champion! So that's an official OVW Overdrive uh, reenactment, folks. So that's pretty much what happened this past Tuesday on television. Just madness from top to bottom. We do have a number one contender for the women's championship now, but things between Tony Gunn and, and Brian Pullman Jr. just continue, continue to heat up. No, they will be coming to. Intended. They will be coming to an end December fifth inside of a 15 foot high steel cage. Again, get your virtual tickets now. OVWrestling.com. Christmas chaos. Okay, folks. Now. We'll, We've been into this, this segment here, and honestly, I'm a little worried that no one has shown up yet, but that's okay. That's okay, because we have a huge meeting, and it's actually going to start right after the break. You're not going to miss a second of this tag team gauntlet match. So many, our OVW tag team division has been exploding as of late. No messages, nope, nothing. No, mi not, not a single missed call. Maybe we got bad service in here. I don't know. We'll look at it. We're coming right back with a tag team gauntlet main event. Do not miss it. Uh, my service is great. I'll call everyone. Call Ghostbusters. Attention timeshare owners. This is an urgent consumer alert from the Timeshare Exit Hotline, a national company specializing in helping consumers legally get out of their expensive timeshare contracts. We're offering you a way to legally get rid of your timeshare. So if you're fed up with the maintenance fees that keep on coming and want to learn if you can terminate your timeshare legally and permanently, call today. Even if you've tried before and were unsuccessful in getting rid of your timeshare, call today and see if we can help. We offer a complete 100% unconditional client satisfaction guarantee. Make this completely free call and learn how we can help you legally put an end to your timeshare nightmare once and for all. You have nothing to lose, so call right now to qualify and receive a free consultation. You can terminate your timeshare legally and permanently, but you've got to call now. Call the number on your screen today. It's a free call. The following is a seven tag team gauntlet match. Yeah. Introducing first, Golden Boy AJZ and per Greatness Personified TGA Moss. Welcome back to the Davis Arena, everybody. It's AJ McKay alongside EC Eric Cornish at ringside with more OVW Overdrive. And here they come, AJZ and TGA Moss. These guys just cannot get it together. TGA doesn't want to have anything to do with them. Management put them together again in this gauntlet match today. We've got seven teams. Wait a minute, I just saw a handshake, though. Could they be on the same page finally? A handshake? I, I don't 
Maybe. It's very possible. TGA sure is a, forg a forgiving guy. I'll just say that. We've seen uh, miscommunication the last couple of weeks. You know, you've got the uh, personality of AJZ that is... And their is opponents. Eric the Ghost Silva and self-made superstar James Bandy. As I was saying, you know, AJZ, he's just got that attitude that's just out in your face. TGA Moss, more of a laid back, like, let's just get it done. Look at, look at these guys. Oh, my word. You got newcomers here in OVW, Eric the Ghost Silva, James Bandy. He's the self-made superstar. Here they go, off and Whoa. running already. Off and running already. Look at this. Double drop kicks. Now look at this. Some teamwork by Team Alphabet Soup here. Already off and running. Look at the up. Oh, maybe they're on the same page. AJZ is it. Oh. oh, wait a minute. Here comes Silva. The ghost, Eric Silva. Going back and forth now. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Here comes AJZ out to the floor. We've only got one team that can win this thing. And uh, these two, definitely at a disadvantage starting at number one and two here. Look at that next suplex over sends TGA Moss out of the canvas. And keep in mind, we keep adding tag teams as we go here. You get the win, you move on to the next one. The match just keeps going. And, uh, and all of the uh, the teams coming in at random orders, all randomly drawn earlier tonight. So, so you don't know who you're going to get out here as your next opponent. This is a psychological game, to say the least. And you got to think whoever wins this has got to be in major, major contention for the Tate Twins and the OVW Heavyweight Tag Team Championship. You gotta wonder, hey, they, they started off very hot and heavy here in this match, and uh, can they keep the pace through? You, you got seven teams in this. They've gotta keep this pace up all the way through. TGA has gotta get out of the corner, and he's done it. Whips him in, oh, into the turnbuckle now. Oh! Moss, nice Damn. neck breaker. Going for the Damn. super kick, and he there connects it with it. Wait uh -oh. a minute, AJZ tags himself. Tags himself in. The blind tag. Here we go now. One, two, three. He catches him. Wow. Silva and Bandy have been eliminated. Wow. I, well, it looked like they started off with the uh, the teamwork, but uh, again, the miscommunication it, there. It fell apart. AJ tags himself in. Well, William didn't fall apart too much. They did and get the win. Star Rider. Look at this. And here comes Lutz and Star Rider, their next opponents. The team that drew number three here, and uh, this is quite the unorthodox team. We haven't seen them team together before, but uh, this should be fun. Look at that. Look at that. My word. Looks like. Lutz and Star Rider. Looks like they're uh, taking the same round oh. here. Starting off hot, starting off fast. I don't know that that's the best strategy in a match like this. Sends him up and over. AJZ oh. clotheslines him. Comes over the top. Oh, Big look at that. DDT. And you got to wonder what's what's going to happen now. You know, they got the victory here, but it looks like they're already kind of button heads again, our TGA Moss and AJZ. They've got to keep it together here. AJZ can't let that, he can't let that ego get the better of him. No, if you're going to defeat six other teams, you're going to have to work as a cohesive oh, unit. Oh, Lutz down to the canvas. Tags in Star Rider going up to the top. Here comes the high flying Here he comes. Star Rider. Look at that. Oh, wow. my word. Interesting teamwork here between the unorthodox Lutz and, well, the high-flying Star Rider. AJZ catches him in midair. What's he going to do here now? Has him up in a fireman's carry. Takes him down. 262. Oh. Unbelievable strength. Going to down. take out He's Lutz. Two count. TGA no. Moss. What's going on? Wait a minute. What? Now, they're definitely not going to beat six other teams doing this. Oh, it's breaking down here. Definitely not. No, and he pie faces him. Definitely not on the same page now. Wait a minute. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. This is not conducive to tag team. Well, what is going? Three counts. Look at the pin. He catches Star it. Rider. 
Star Rider and Lutz move on. AJZ and TJA Moss have been eliminated. Who's next? I can't wait. We got Lutz and Star Rider, the unorthodox one, Lutz. We've got the high flying Star Rider and look at AJZ. AJZ. He is in sis. Whoa! Wait a minute. Eliminated. Here comes the LOB, or at least part of them. At OVWWrestlingNetwork.com, it's only $4.99 a month. In between excitement, me too! OVWWrestlingNetwork.com is only $4.99 a month. You get that incredible value. She cost me $17 million and I loved it. Want a real value? OVWWrestlingNetwork.com, it's only $4.99. That's a price so low. Well, it's insane! <laughs> I didn't know some Medicare Advantage plans may pay for dental visits. Did you? I didn't know some Medicare Advantage plans may pay for transportation to my doctor. Did you? I didn't know some Medicare Advantage plans may pay to have my prescriptions delivered directly to my home. Did you? These and more are important benefits some Medicare Advantage plans may give you. So if you're eligible for Medicare, call us right now because you could enroll in a plan with some amazing additional benefits. Call now. We've got so we've got Big Steve. Oh, Josh Ashcraft, he has been in a foul mood over the last few weeks. Well, if I were him, I'd be in a foul mood as well. All right, Let's see who's gonna start it off. Got Star Rider in. Looks like Big Zoe. What a mismatch here, good night. Zoe makes up two of Star Rider almost. And Star Rider's got to get low. That's the biggest thing. He's got to take Zoe off his feet. And the only way to do that is go low on, onto those legs. But you see how the LOB started? A much, much more experienced team. They didn't come in here like a house of fire. Oh, like the other. oh my man. word. They didn't, didn't come in like a house of fire like the other teams. Now you know why they were the longest reigning tag teams in OVW history. They know to take it slow. It's methodical. It's hard hitting. Look at the big clubs to the gut of Star Rider. And fans, oh, don't forget, coming up December 5th, we have a very exclusive pay-per-view live OVW Christmas Chaos. Go to ovwrestling.com to get yours now. Great value for the Christmas holiday. Get one for you and all of your family members too. And you know, Aunts, uncles. 15 foot high steel cage is gonna be in effect. We already know. Tony Gunn, Brian Pillman Jr. I can't wait to see that. For the oh. title. Oh. And a steel cage, are you kidding me? Nothing says Christmas like a steel cage. <laughs> what kind of Boom, Christmas are you having? <laughs> Now, don't forget to Jesse Goddard's Mr. Pectacular, the national champion, also is going to give us more gifts of Goddard's leading into Christmas chaos. Oh, I can't I, wait I to can't see what wait. he's got. Yeah, a few of those I'd like to probably send back, I would guess, but uh, nevertheless, well, Jesse Shan, Goddard. If, if it's Shannon those. the Dude, I'll send that one We back. can send that one back. I hope they accept returns on him. Look at this, the big guy. Steve Michaels, the Chicago Bear Hug, the newest addition to the LOB, but what an addition he has been over this. the last few months. Has him up in the air. Star Rider just such a, oh man, drops down. Bam! Bam! Drop kick. Doesn't take the big man off the feet, off his feet, but great height on that drop kick though. He got all the way up into the face of the uh, over six footer there. Smart to drag him back to the corner there. Big Zoe is back in, boots to the stomach. Man, trying to kick these kick these two dudes, it's like drop kicking a, a big brick wall. You're just not gonna send send them flying. No, it takes more than they that. That's why I said two. you gotta go low. Look out now though, Star Rider drops down, tags, loots in. Here comes Here Lutz. It comes. On fire. Oh. Solo pushes him off like he's just a sack of potatoes. Oh, oh my, my word. God. It's like running into a big Mack that's, truck. That's not like a hug from your grandma at Thanksgiving. Not at there. all. Not at all. Knocks Lutz loopy now. Here comes the oh. big man. Good Lord. Oh, the big Chicago bear hug plotting and just stalking Watch William this. Lutz. Oh. oh, big clubbing forearm to the chest of Lutz. Sends it in. Oh, my oh. word. I think that <laughs> ring moved about five inches there. Lutz is working on him, there doing the goes. smart thing, trying to take those legs out from Here Steve Michael. Star Rider Look across. at that, Star Rider sends Zoe out to the floor. Lutz now, and Star Rider with a double team now into the ropes. 
Can Hold they on, do look this? Out. Oh, oh my God! This could be it. This, this could be it. He's got him covered. One, two. What an upset! Oh. oh wow! Look at the power of Steve Michaels. Just kicks. Oh my God! Kicks both of them off of him. Wait a minute. What Hold are they on. Doing? Double team here. Oh, oh my oh. gosh! Yeah, you just made the One, two big men angry two. right there. Oh. oh, that's it. Luke and Star Rider have been eliminated. All right, well, let's see. Random drawing. Who's coming out next? Who's the next? Face? Introducing. No wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute here. Oh, oh, oh no. my word. Wait a minute. Josh Ashcraft. It's has, the it's oh, LOB against no. LOB. What? This can't be right. Josh Ashcraft got both his teams in here thinking he was going to come up with some kind of shenanigans. It's the luck of the draw, Eric. Nobody knows who's going to be their next opponents. And now we've got LOB against LOB, and Josh Ashcraft is incensed. This is something I've been waiting to see for a long time. We know what the deal is. Now wait. Why don't you go ahead and lay down? Oh, Cash is saying, why don't tell him Zoe and Steve Michaels to lay down? Cast says, go ahead and lay down. Is this? Yeah, they're not. They're not having any of this. Zoe and Michaels are like, no, no, no. Now wait, I don't think they oh. talked this over before. How, how, how is Ashcraft going to keep this under control? He's, he's got. He's going to get his guys in line here. Both sides are saying, lay down, lay down. Wait a no, minute. Wait a minute. What's, what's Ashcraft referee? doing? What? She says, ring it. What's that? I think Charlene, Josh Charlene McKenzie just said both teams are out. Is that what she said? I believe she just said that both teams have been, been disqualified because. Let's hear the official word here. Josh Ashcraft just put his hands on the referee, which is, you definitely don't do that. And boy, LOB does not look happy with Josh Ashcraft. Well, if, if yeah, if they don't win this match, they're not getting paid. You know, they're not going to be happy. Yeah, it they are. Double she, disqualification. They're all out. Double disqualification. Oh, my. Wow. All of the LOB. Oh, and Josh Ashcraft, another plan gone awry. And the and look at the, the, the OVW stars and superstars in the crowd are singing na-na-na-na. Hey, 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 goodbye. Well, they've all here. been victims of the LOB for months and months. Of course they are. Wow. Josh Ashcraft just got all of his guys kicked out of this thing. That means we've got two teams left, and the winner of this thing is going to be the winner of the gauntlet. Wow. Introducing next. What a turn of events here. Hollywood, or Isaiah Bronner, and AJ Daniels. Oh, the oh. Gravity Destroyer's out, and they, they just got attacked by the LOB. Isaiah Wait a Bronner. minute, come on. They're out of this match, and all four of them. It's a gang mugging here on Bronner and AJ Daniels. Good night. What is going on here? Our number one priority in life is the protection of our loved ones and ourselves. We at Comprehensive Health and Wellness are here to help. During these challenging and uncertain times, Comprehensive Health and Wellness can supply you with the personal protection equipment you need for you and your loved ones to feel more secure. Go to chw.care or call 800-963-7066 to get yours today. That's chw.care or 800-963-7066. T'was the 5th of December, all peaceful and bright. And then OVW brought us all quite a fight. Good boys Howe and Jackson were dreaming of gold. Haley J wanted new furs to protect from the cold. Josh and the LOB were on the naughty list page, while Pillman and Gunn were locked in a cage. On Pectacular, on Dimes, on Tate times two. Now Luscious and Bizzo, Maserati and Dude. Christmas chaos was decked on every bow. Merry Christmas from OVW. The future is now. Honor and AJ Daniels down with the beating from the LOB. Here comes Team Hollywood, and it looks like they've got it locked up here in this gauntlet. You know, it's going to be interesting to see whether or not AJ Daniels and Isaiah Bronner can even rally and get up off the ground at this yeah, point. I mean, after that beat down, good. Outside night. of the ring, they just got beat down by five different guys. You think they can get in and win this match? Just look. They can't even get in the ring to start this match. What a luck for the draw here of Team Hollywood. Wait, wait a minute. Rex is picking up Isaiah Bronner. What's he going to do with him here? Hey, 
He said he's out, just get him in. All he's gotta do is cover him. Swayze in the ring. Look at Isaiah Bronner just out there of it. There we go, just turning over the seven mile destroyer. This is, this is a foregone conclusion, this is it. One, two, whoa, he kicks out! Oh. He kicks out! They are still in this thing, hang on now. Now wait a minute. Hang on, two, oh no. my word! <laughs> Hold on, how does he? Where is this coming from? I don't know how he kicked out of that. He just got beat down by the legacy of brutality. Oh my gosh. And look at AJ Daniels has crawled up here over on the apron, but I don't think he's, uh, he's ready to tag in anytime soon. This Bronner, what heart this guy has. Just what, trying to fight back. And wait a minute, look, wait a wait minute, minute, look at this. Look out. What? He's got it. Oh. Oh my gosh, he almost had him. Dutch. Bronner makes the tag. Here comes here, AJ here. Daniels in. Look Big chops. It. A spinning back kick. Oh, Swayze did not expect that, and I didn't either. Look out, he's going up to the top, walks them ropes, comes up. Whoa. Oh, man, Impressive AJ Daniels. Move. He almost took his head right off there. Look at AJ Daniels hitting, hitting the roll. Oh. And a big knee to the back from Rex. Sends him down, and things can change just that quickly. Rolls him up, just a one count there. Adam Swayze back in control. Big handful of hair. Here comes the big man, Rex. Look at this big behemoth. Good night. The co-star. The co-star. I tell you what, he's he's got some power moves that can take him all the way up to the starring role. But I don't know that Adam Swayze will oh, allow that. Oh. Big headbutt. I got a couple of family members that are his size. They would be considered extras and not necessarily co-stars. <laughs> Two count now. No, you, you pronounce that wrong. It's just your family members are just extra. Yeah, extra. That's yeah. yes, that's good point, EC. Rex now takes AJ Daniels into the turnbuckle now. AJ's just struggling for air right now, trying to get himself back together. Look at this though. Big oh. running splash from Rex. Good night. And AJ Daniels is down. Look at this man. Brutalized. You can even see Bronner here on, on the apron, and he is still favoring those ribs from the tack from the LOB. Tags him in now. Adam Swayze in with a big. Oh, oh close line. Good night. Two. Oh, oh, another oh. close call. I'd have thrown the big man at him and, uh, and not at him Swayze. Yeah, I mean, you know. Smash him in their corner again. Yeah, that, that's proven effective. You want to go for maximum damage, you go for the big man, that's for sure. Isaiah Bronner in the corner trying to rally the crowd behind him. Wait a minute, look at this. A.J. Daniels oh. high flying <laughs> off of those ropes. It's almost instinct at this point from A.J. Daniels. He is just purely going on muscle memory at this point. Look at this, he needs the tag to the seven mile destroyer. Bronner. Both are down now. They're both still hurting from that attack, but Bronner is ready. He's had a little time to get a breather, and he wants in. Tag! And here he comes! Here comes both big men now. Oh, Ducks the clothesline. Bronner with the big hands to body the shots. Oh! Big! Oh, close. oh doesn't Look phase Rex. Another one doesn't phase him. It staggers him a little bit, but look, the big man is still on his feet. Back into the corner now. Isaiah Broder comes in with a big clothesline. Luckily, Rex had those ropes to hold him up, but no, oh, out now of the way. He tags in Adam Swayze. They got the tag there. Adam Swayze up over uh -oh. here in this corner. Look at him. Oh, there big it is. Back drop. That's fame. Here and comes Adam Fortune. Swayze. Oh, my gosh. He's got him down, two. Oh, and A.J. Daniels in for the save. Whoa, just barely. I thought it was over there, folks. Ducks the clothesline. Boom! Oh, with a big kick to the face of Adam Swayze. He says go up. He's sending Daniels up to the top rope is Bronner. Oh, Wait a look minute. out now, Rex comes in. He ducks the clothesline. Oh, Bronner with a big man. Oh, oh and a fireman's Oh, oh my God. God, did you see that? Unbelievable strength. Good night. Oh. AJ Daniels climbs to the top now. A tag in. Isaiah Bronner has him up. Look at this. Oh, my. What a cross body. Word. Has him down. Two. 
three. Unbelievable. Your That's winners, it. Isaiah Bronner and A.J. Wow. Daniels. What a Unbelievable. match. Unbelievable. Not only the heart, but the determination after the big beat down from the legacy of brutality. The Gravity Destroyers come back and win the gauntlet. You got to hand it to Isaiah Bronner and A.J. Daniels. You know, Team Hollywood did their best, but at the end of the day, there's your two winners going to the pay window and climbing up that tag team ladder. They just really took a big boost in the tag team division. A couple of big wins two weeks in a row. These guys have only lost one match in their career together. I think you've got future tag team champions right here. Impressive win. Isaiah Bronner, AJ Daniels on overdrive. All right, I'm going to be a professional here. I'm upset. Nobody's, nobody's here. Big win by the Gravity Destroyers. Taking on, I mean, the, the LOB not once, but twice, uh, both, all four of the Legacy of Brutality in the match. AJZ and TJ Moss might not necessarily be on the same page, but they still did great things. Uh, I, you know, I, speaking of great things, I feel like, you know, we, we do so much. Why would you do this to us? We, we Why? So, we, we, there are five turkeys in this oven, and not one person shows up. Steve's gonna yeah. have to eat two and a half. I'm gonna have to eat two and a half. So many people were like, "Yeah, we'll be there. I promise." They said. They said it just like that. And I think you know, maybe they sound a little condescending, but they wouldn't be condescending to us. What have we ever done to anybody? We're gonna. I sent you all handwritten invitations. I I crafted them each. I handed you artwork on each one. He wax sealed the envelopes. It was beautiful. I've been learning calligraphy since February for you ungrateful sons of. I mean, I would punch this pumpkin if it wasn't my fiance's. She would be mad at me just like I'm mad. Yeah, you don't want her getting hot. Okay. Folks, I hope you had a great holiday. Make sure you go to ovwrestling.com. Did you get your tickets for Christmas Chaos on December 5th? Cage match, Tony Gunn, yeah, Brian Pillman Jr., championship on the line. I feel like I'm in a, a steel cage of emotion right now. I'm having my own Christmas Chaos hear, internally. Hear me out, Steve. We both want to explode. I feel like the only way to really put a button on this, we have to destroy these turkeys. We need to make these turkeys feel the explosiveness on the inside that we feel pep a little. These turkeys You know what? Screw all of you! Mark destroying these turkeys! These turkeys will suffer like we suffer. Get stuck on your counter! Party. Uh, oh, hold, on. hold 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 on.